I felt a secondary misfire. That's why I'm doing this. You guys might be thinking, what the f are you doing, Danner? I'm telling you, I felt enough secondary ignition misfires in my life to say that that was a secondary ignition misfire that I was feeling. And I just want to prove it. What makes it feel like a... It has a... Well, number one, it's intermittent. It will smooth out depending on load. And when you first step into it, when we pack a bunch of air in the cylinder and we get that sudden pressure change, that's when you'll get the most secondary misfires. It'll be real choppy feeling, kind of like that. And it's exactly what I felt. And it felt like multiple cylinders to me, not just one. So that's why, that's why I'm doing this. That's why I'm doing this ridiculous thing right here. If we can't duplicate it like this, then we're gonna walk away from it again. Pause it, pause it. That was the one. Was Bad miss. That was the one I wanted. Red Trace. Keep coming back to that guy. Are you thinking it looks weird? Yeah, but it's just like, it's up higher than the rest, but that's just, that's just miss triggering of the scope. I mean, I, I, I do right here. Th this is not normal. This, this red trace, the one that we've been kind of focused on the whole time. See this kind of double, like something going on with this spark line on this red trace. That's not normal. Like, let's look at the next cylinder over just to get an idea. The difference here. We're like way zoomed in, but that's more like what you'd want to see. And look at that guy. It's like that thing fired and stopped and fired and stopped and fired. Like the plasma, if you want to call it, is like going out and starting again. You can see that. Yeah, red trace for sure. I don't like it. And the red trace, the one we're questioning here, is my newer coil. I'm telling you, 